Hello, this is Tim Bardsley, service hydrologist from the National Weather Service in Reno. I'd like to take a moment to summarize the water supply conditions for northwestern Nevada. After four years of drought, near average snowpack and runoff forecasts are a breath of fresh air, but not enough to bust the drought. The snowpack acts as a huge reservoir, accumulating water in the winter and delivering it to rivers and streams in the spring and summer just as demands increase. This image represents the percent of normal snow water content for various basins throughout Nevada and Eastern California as of April 1st. These measurements are attained through automated snow measurement stations called SnowTel, and as well as manually measured snow courses. April 1st is typically near the peak snow accumulation and is therefore an important time for assessing water supply conditions. The green and blue colors of this map represent the average to above average conditions throughout the region. This is the most favorable spring snowpack conditions since 2011. These snowpack conditions are the result of above average mountain precipitation in October through January as well as March combined with near to below average temperatures in the critical months of November through January. Let's take a closer look at the snowpack in the Truckee Basin. The dark black line indicates this year's snow water content and you can see the stair step of storm events punctuated by some melt in the late winter. The green line represents the median or normal snowpack, while the blue and red represent the maximum and minimum observed. This year peaked very near normal and melt has just started. Further south in the Walker Basin, conditions are not quite as favorable. The peak was a little earlier and slightly below the normal. The lower Humboldt had very favorable early season snowpack conditions and stayed just above the normal peak. Hydrologists combine snowpack conditions with additional weather and climate information to forecast spring and summer water supply volumes. This image indicates the range of forecasts for the total April through July runoff as compared to average. Forecasts are for near normal streamflow conditions throughout most of the area. The conditions on the Walker, especially the East Walker, are less favorable. Conditions further south in the Mono and Owens basins are also below average. Long-range climate forecasts indicate slightly increased chances of a wetter than normal spring and early summer, and a somewhat stronger chance of warmer than normal conditions. Warmer conditions would lead to more rapid snowmelt runoff. If you are a water and data geek like me, please visit the California ne Nevada River Forecast Center homepage at the link here to explore a wealth of additional information. It will take much more than one normal year to make up for the deficits and impacts of the previous four dry years. However, drought conditions along with indicators like reservoir storage are improving. The level of Lake Tahoe and associated available storage volume is a good indicator of prolonged drought. The red line represents the storage while the blue line represents the average storage. The storage units are in thousands of acre feet. An acre foot is the volume of water covering an acre of land about the size of a football field one foot deep or 326,000 gallons. The lake has been below its natural rim since the fall of 2014 and will exceed the rim soon with the help of snow melt and spring rains. Still, it remains about 300,000 acre feet or two and a half feet below average for this time of year. Another way to look at multi-year drought is look at the total stream flow volume past a point over time. Stream flow is a great integrator of climate conditions. This figure shows the average volume of the Carson River near Carson City since the fall of 2011 in green and the observed volume in blue. Over the past four and a half years, there's about a three year deficit in flow. The same graphic reveals even drier conditions on the lower Humboldt River just above Rye Patch Reservoir. Here, the past four and a half years have provided less than half an average year's volume. The good news is that since late February, near normal flows have returned to the lower Humboldt and there has been as much water in the past 45 days as the previous 54 months combined. While this year's snowpack and projected water supply seem huge relative to the last four years, they are actually near average. These average conditions will improve water supplies and reduce drought impacts, but are not sufficient to end the drought. Thanks for taking the time to listen to this briefing. You can find more information on our webpage, or if you have questions, connect with us on Facebook.